For those of you who haven't yet, please go follow my Instagram. It would mean the world to me. I only want freaking 10 followers today to break my shadow ban on there. So I'm trying to reach a certain goal before my birthday. And then I'm doing a giveaway to give back to you guys. So please, 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 if you haven't yet, go follow my Instagram. It would really, really mean the world to me. I lost my mom in 2016 and dad in 2017. Teddy, I'm so sorry. That must be absolutely devastating. I'm so sorry for your loss. A man called by that. His uh, wet hair is the best hair. All of us are going to die, but we'll suffer so many problems. That is true. Honestly, dying peacefully would be the best. Just going to bed and not waking up. Although I don't really want to get old, you know? I don't really want to get of old age where I have like a bunch of problems and all of that. Otto and Erin are staying. Last, oh, I already read that. Okay, I'm just gonna take this color. It's okay, sweetie. It's, oh no, I know we say it's okay, um, Teddy Bear, but it really is not. Just because we say it's okay does not mean it's okay. It just means there's nothing we can do about it and we accept it. And we focus on moving on. Sorry for the loss, still got my mom, but pops in 2016, he was deaf, my best friend. Oh, I would die if my dad died. I would literally, it would change my life. I would sob so much because my dad is honestly like my biggest fan, my biggest supporter and like my favorite person of all time. Yep, that's all we can do. That is so sad. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, guys. Life really, really isn't fair. But at least we got each other to make it better and worth a while. For those of you having it, please go follow my Instagram. It would mean the absolute world to me. I'm trying to reach a certain goal on there and I post daily. So I would appreciate it so, so, so much. Life sucks. It really does. I think if life was fair, we wouldn't appreciate it, to be honest. As horrible as it sounds. I fully agree with that. Like, honestly, I think the only way we have a frame of reference of why life is good at times is because we know how bad it can get. And honestly, it sounds like really stupid or just ignorant of me to say, but I feel like if I look at my own life, every single bad thing that happened to me, even though I didn't understand it at that time and I was mad and angry, shaped me into the person that I am today and also pushed me into the direction that caused me to get some of the things that was the best for me um, or make decisions that was the best for me that I wouldn't have done out of comfort, that I wouldn't have done if I was doing well. And um, I think as Jesus it is, everything does happen for a reason. And that doesn't mean that like, oh, it's a good thing that it happened. It doesn't take away from the pain. It doesn't take away from the disappointment. But it shows that 